If working on revision zero, or the first application in a fiscal year for a particular funding application, the first step is to change the status from not started to draft started. After the status is in draft started, users can go in and access the funding application in entered data. We recommend that you start with the budget page for a particular grant. The budget page is where you can budget for instruction, support services, governance and admin, professional development, family community, safety, facilities, transportation, and important, the non-public if you have participating non-publics for a particular grant, in this case Title I. The object codes have salaries, retirement fringe benefits, purchase services, supplies, capital outlay, and other. The goal is to have your budget amount equal your adjusted allocation with the remaining of zero. Once you have the budget filled out, you can go back up at the top and hit save and go to and hit next page. This will take you to the budget details page for a particular grant, in this case Title I. The budget detail page allows districts to go in and enter information explaining how they will be spending the funds within that particular grant. The budget details page are tailored to that particular grant. Validation messages will appear if information is entered here under purchase services for a teacher or tutor, but there's no money budgeted back on the Title I budget in the purchase service column. One of the benefits of CCIP is it will check this and warn you if there is a place where you have money budgeted but no budget detail, and conversely, if you have information on the budget detail but no money in the appropriate budget.